Okay, motherfuckers, I decided to do book reviews. I studied literature. I haven't worked with literature for ages, but like now I'm all of a sudden, ah, shit, I want to read again just to sound smart on this. So the first book that I'm going to review is called Snowing in Bali. It's all about importing and smuggling. It's got international intrigue. It's got Brazilian gangsters. It's got Balinese corrupt cops. It's got the worst jails in the world. It's got the best beaches on earth. It's got all of these cool elements that kind of just smash together like sand and beach and yin and yang and all that good shit. It's got weed, it's got drinks, it's got hoes, it's got parties, it's got fear, it's got adrenaline, it's got fucking everything. The characters themselves are awesome, they're larger than life. They're the kind of people that when you sit next to at a cafe and you overhear their conversation, you're like, oh my god. Their life sounds so much more interesting than mine. And it is more interesting than yours, almost guaranteed. But it comes at a price. You're probably not going to go to jail working as an accountant. But these motherfuckers, chances are, they're either going to get <laughs> capped or they're going to end up like this, in jail for the rest of their lives. And fuck, we all know how drug smuggling stories end. There's never like happy ending sunsets. Everybody always gets fucked, always. And I think that's a theme, it's this cat and mouse game. You get fucking caught up in the adrenaline, the woo, the chase, the hunt, these dudes just risking it all. And they make stupid decisions. People make the fucking dumbest decisions. But you want it to go well for them because deep down they're pretty good people. To my thug niggas in the congregation. Yeah, okay, they might sling a bit of heroin here, sniff some coke there, but they're okay guys, they're legit dudes. So the kind of theme of the book is a little bit more about personal freedom as well. It's a little bit about what you want to do with your own life. It doesn't touch on this in a fucking deep way or anything, but you kind of get that sense of like, why the fuck are they killing people in Bali for bringing a plant across an invisible line that makes you happy, but then when some motherfucker blows up a bar and kills 20 people, he only gets eight years in jail. So it kind of puts into perspective, you know, what's wrong and what's right, and you get to deal with this ethical dilemma inside of your head. Is it wrong to smuggle drugs? Absolutely. Are you gonna wanna do it? Fuck, I hope not. And if this book teaches you anything, it's that sometimes, Living a safe and boring life might actually be the best thing for you. But it's not the best thing for a book. The best thing for a book is characters that roll the dice and just push all the chips in the table and let it roll. Fuck this, we're gonna either get paid or we're gonna end up in jail. That's what makes this a good book. I give it eight out of 10. Pick up Snowing in Bali. You're not gonna regret it. It's fun, it's a good time. It'll either make you wanna go to Bali Oh, it'll make you never want to smuggle drugs, which is probably a good thing. But if you do, give me a call, because I'm going to buy some. Just kidding! I'm not going to buy any. Peace out.